Hello everyone, I'm Gregory from Open Barbers and I'm making a quick film about how to cut someone else's undercut. Um, I've got this fantastic volunteer here called MJ who is who already has an undercut as you can see. So what we're doing today is we're literally just shaving over the existing undercut to the, exactly the same lines that were there already and we're going to take it down to a grade one. So the first step is to put some clips in the hair and what we're aiming to do is get as much tension on the length of the hair as possible so that it is almost completely the opposite direction to the rest of the hair. That will mean that it will give us the, the least risk of accidentally cutting some of this length. Okay, so I'm just going to get my clips. So for this, for this exercise, we're going to need a couple of clips, a comb and a set of clippers. We're also uh, using uh, a gown, but you could just use a bin bag with a hole in it or an old sheet and just a tea towel uh, clipped together at the neck. So again, I'm pulling as much tension as I can. Just need to get a little bit another clip for the bottom okay we're good to go here are my clippers they do have a little lever on them which is quite a handy thing to have if you're doing any type of fading. Um, and this is a grade one clipper guard. Snap it in place and then we're off, okay? I'm also just going to use my thumb to hold this hair down just to make sure that none of this hair in the clip accidentally pops out as we go along. So as you can see, I've not gone as high as the line just yet because when I do that bit I want to get in quite tight just to make sure that I'm getting a nice neat line. I've also been bending MJ's ear around just so that I get a nice clean space behind. Um, and we'll come back to the edges to make sure that we get them nice and tidy. And with all best people that we meet at Open Barbers, there's always a few little specks of glitter on the head as well and you want to make sure you don't shave those off because they're a part of the personality of, the, of, of your client. So one of the things to notice is that it's useful to pay attention to the direction in which the hair grows and to try and clip it in the completely opposite direction because that way you'll get the cleanest cut with the clippers that you can. If you are going cutting the hair in the same direction in which the hair grows, it doesn't get a very good connection. Okay, so that is our grade one. Now I'm just going to take the guard off my clippers. Um, for anyone who has a pair of beard trimmers at home, they could also use those because you'll get in a little bit more comfortably around the edges. But as most people will just have the clippers, I'll show you with the clippers. It's the same principle.
So I'm using my flat edge to create nice straight lines, but where there's more curved shapes, I need to just make sure I'm only using the very corners of my clippers to, to make sure that I don't accidentally cut a, a line into the hair, unless of course that's what they want. Okay, maybe the last thing that you could try and do is just to make sure that there aren't any like long bits that have got missed. Sometimes the best way to see them is to look down the hair rather than straight on at the hair. So I'm just gonna lift Emily's head up. I'm gonna push this hair flat. And then if we do that, a few short hairs might spring up along that hairline. So if there are any, I can just use any type of pair of scissors, doesn't have to be hairdressing ones, just to try and catch any of those springy bits. Okay. I think that's it. A very simple grade one top up on an undercut. Okay, so thank you for watching that short film about how to top up an undercut. Um, as I said, my name is Gregory, I work for Open Barbies. If you need any help with anything, if you want to get in touch for some advice or anything like that, feel free to email us at openbarbers at gmail.com. So while we've been doing that, Jim's been colouring in a unicorn. Should we have a look? That's beautiful. Yay. Well done. <laughs> Great.